Well, for months we have been holding people in power accountable of the state of the thruway on the Seneca Reservation. Work there began just a few weeks ago, but our Steve Brown joins us now. He's here with news that it is going to take a lot longer than they originally said. Right, Steve? Yes, Scott. How long are we talking? We're, it appears that we're going to be into next year and well into next mm. year before this is all said and done. Now, what we know right now at this particular point in time is the obvious. The stretch of Interstate 90 as it passes through the Seneca's Cattaraugus Reservation is in awful shape. Speed limit reduced to 45 miles per hour instead of 65. Just last month, state government and the Senecas finally came to an agreement to make the badly needed repairs. But it appears when state workers got to look under the asphalt to examine the concrete base, it became clear that the get it done this year timetable originally announced was not going to work. Thruway Authority Executive Director Matthew Driscoll delivered the bad news to the Seneca Nation in a letter. It reads in part, we have determined that completing the required repairs is not achievable this fall. Therefore, the Thruway Authority will initiate competitive bidding to secure a contract to perform the work in the spring. Driscoll adds that the state will continue to apply temporary fixes to deteriorated portions of the highway. The Seneca Nation released a brief statement in it. It says it will allow the Thruway Authority to proceed with the more extensive repairs as agreed to in order to ensure the safety of the traveling public. Now, should the state have seen this delay coming? We think there's reason to think that. According to the state's own records, the last major repair work done to that stretch of I-90, 1999. That was 20 mm. years ago. It's a long time ago. Won't the road just get more chewed up over the winter time? Well, we both lived in this area yes. for, for, for more than a few years. We know that time and winter is not any road's particular yeah. ally. So that's a reasonable expectation, that the roads are only going to get worse over this particular timetable, that the road was bad to start with, really shouldn't be a surprise to the state, because if mm -hmm. you haven't worked on a road for 20 years, mm -hmm. really gotten underneath the asphalt. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's there. You don't know what's there. You don't know what the problems are. I think anybody driving on that road knew it At least was they're doing something now. At least they are some doing something. But it's going to be slow go through there for much of this year and uh, or for the rest of this year and for much of next year. Steve Brown tonight, Steve, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it.